Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First set, first leg. It's Bill the Pro first. Game on! And just getting ready here for the men's final. Now underway, Phil Taylor against Dave Askew. Taylor making 135. <laughs> And what a start, 180, making his uh, second straight appearance after losing last year. And Dave Askew, his first time uh, at the Golden Harvest Cup. 60. And has done very well to get here onto the stage. Well, he's at a great tournament. Um, you know, he obviously wants to win the final. But he knows that after the semi-final against John Lowe, he really has to improve. Not to have any chance uh, of beating Phil. Well, Phil has certainly demonstrated that uh, he doesn't let you make too many mistakes, if any. That's right. I mean, 60. that's why they call him the power. I mean, he, he, he's just tremendous, you know, and uh, he just keeps on doing it, throw after throw after throw. Sixty-two. Saying to himself, there, a bit sloppy, and you won't get many chances like that to. Keep playing. He'll, he'll start pulling in the big up 180s and let's hope Dave can match him as well. 100! Will you require 164? 100! <coughs> the important thing was in the first match, Phil dictated the game. Dave did as well. This time Dave's going to have to be doing a little bit of chasing. 140! Here we require 64. 32! Could have gone 14 ball there, Dave, you require Yeah, he certainly could have done, but uh, I thought he might have done, actually, because, you know, with Dave's capable of taking any sort of shot out, so... He's on a combination here, maybe trouble 19 for double 12, but hit a single 19 now. 89. Bill, you require 32. Game shot in the first leg. Out well, first leg, first Bill set, best Taylor. of seven. And uh, no one would be surprised to hear that uh, Phil Taylor Game gets on. the edge of the match. Certainly does. I mean, uh, as I say, there'd be no letting up from uh, Phil at all. So, I mean, Dave's really, really got to come on top of his game and get stuck in there. Dave's got a very good game. If he really can hit his best form, he can go 180s, 140s, but it's not always as easy when you've got the man behind you, Phil Taylor. 140! He's certainly backing Dave, certainly backing his end up here, and uh, I just hope that uh, Dave can stay with Phil and uh, really push him to the limits, and we'll see one, 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 one great game. mentioned before about the perfect game, the nine dart finish, and the $250,000, so I think one of these two players will be very happy, but it'll be great to see it on 123. TV. 123! Dave, you require 138. Should look for a treble 20 then, for a single 18, to leave him double 20. 98! Feels not on a shot, so Dave knows he's going to come back and have a chance to make it one leg all in the first set. 45. Dave, you require 40. Game shot in the second leg. And the first set now Dave tied at one you. each. Dave will be very pleased with that leg. He got down Game real off. quick, took it out clean. And uh, that's the sort of... Um, Darts, he should be starting to throw now. That's the only way you're going to beat Phil Taylor. 180! But then Phil comes back with a 180, just like that. That's a great start to, to win the first set. 100!
Phil's really put the pressure on here. Yeah, he's that sort of player, you know, there's no letting up from Phil at all. And uh, Dave knows that, so... Uh, 99! Dave needs a big shot here and uh, see, see what he can do. There's a lot of room there, Cliff, to feel, oh dear, let's push that one. Yeah, he wouldn't have been happy with the second one there, Keith. Will you require 82? Well, he likes bullseye double 16 on this shot. So he wants 17 to leave double 20, and this to take the first set. 62! Phil Taylor in search of his first uh, Golden Harvest Cup title. Off to a very good start against Dave Askew. That was a good 140 there from Dave to, to put a pressure on Phil on the double 10. Phil would, would have missed, and Dave only had 80 to win that first set. But this is the set now where Phil will try and, try and dig more deep and, and try and jump on Dave's throw. 100! I think Phil knows that uh, he can't give Dave a lot of room, so he'll be pushing him all the way. 81. Phil has the eight uh, world titles to his credit. Uh, how many do you guys think he's, he's capable of winning before uh, before that prime of his career ends? <laughs> well, I think in, in another ten years, I think he could probably have another maybe eight or nine titles. I mean, he, he's just an incredible dart player. Maybe it's uh, his hunger as well as how much he really wants to keep winning world titles as well. One hundred. And also, you don't know that the next Phil Taylor could be around the corner. It's great young players coming on, and uh, you know, Phil come from somewhere, and then all of a sudden he's playing darts. So there's going to be up and coming players Dave coming through. Require 160. 160. Well, both on the same score here, two treble twenties, double twenty would be the shot. 60. So now Phil will come Phil back. Will we require 160? This would be a good shot for Dave to take out treble 20, but uh, he got tried for another treble 20, so he let a single for to leave himself double top. Will you require 116? So 16 for double 20, and this will be against the darts as well. Well, off at one chance, it looks like is, is all he needs, and uh, he has the first leg in the second set. 